Hello Aries and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your weekly read for the third week of July 2020 and it's just a general read, reading to see what's on the cards for you at this time. But before we dive into the tarot, we need to consult the oracle. And I'm going to give you a three card oracle reading just to start off with. So let's see what words of wisdom the mysterious oracle has for Aries for the third week of July 2020. Oh, hang on. Let's see what messages are there. What messages are there for Aries for the third week of July 2020? What messages are there for Aries for the third week? of July 2020. What messages are there for Aries for the third week of July 2020? Let's just see where the deck wants to fall open. See what you get. Oh, attachment. All tied up and indecision. <laughs> right, so attachment. Here's um yeah. So it may seem that you are attached to something. We form attachments sometimes they're important and other times we um, tie ourselves up to things that perhaps no longer serve us and you see she's holding a mask um, and perhaps things are not as they seem and we perhaps need to think about releasing ourselves from things we've become attached to because these attachments might bind us um, all tied up perhaps there may be somewhere you want to go somewhere you want to be and you are tied up because you formed an attachment this might lead to indecision do you break away and or do you stay where you are do you move to pastures new or do you stay with what's comfortable, what you've become attached to and is it holding you unnecessarily, is it keeping you from moving forward. So let's see, let's see what the rest of the cards say for you Aries for the third week of July 2020. What messages are there for Aries for the third week of July 2020? What messages are there for Aries for the third week of July? 2020. Let's that out the way. So let's see. Again, I've got the deck upside down. You've got the Seven of Swords. You've got the Five of Cups. And you've got the King of Swords. It's all looking very serious, Aries. But let's see what else comes up. You have what's brought you here. You have the ten, the no, the nine of swords, the ace of swords, and the six of swords. It's very swordy. These, uh, the swords are about intellect, matters of the mind, communication, and wisdom. 
you have as your um, your challenges this week are the four of coins and the lovers and the knight of coins and then your advice from spirit is the three of wands the ten of cups and the wheel mm. And then the Knight of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Three of Coins are your outcome row. Oh, well, the bottom of the deck is very joyful. You've got the Three of Cups there. Gosh. So where you are, you must be wary that you may be deceiving yourself the king of swords shows that there is a decision to be made an important decision that has to be made with a clear mind you need to um, use your past experiences and, and your knowledge to make a decision wisely, carefully, and decisively. <clears throat> it may mean cutting through ties. Um, you know, it may be, it's a decision made in the head and not with the heart. So it may seem cold in some aspects. Um, but you, you're trying to move, or you're needing to move away from a sense of loss and despair. Um, and that may come about. Uh, it seems where you've come from, what's brought you here is, um, you, you've had a lot of worries. Um, overthinking things perhaps in some extent but it seems that there's definitely a lot of questioning going on in your minds perhaps a realization that where you were was causing you distress causing you mental anxiety and a moment of clarity arises and you feel you need to transition, you need to move away from this troubled state or this troubled situation towards calmer waters um, and moving towards Perhaps a goal for some of you, but I think mostly it's just moving towards enlightenment, moving towards the truth, trying to get to know the truth. There seems to have been, for some of you, um, a situation that was doing your head in. Sudden realization that you've tied yourself up in a, in a, A situation that's not doing you any good, that's depleting your energies and that is creating more and more anxiety. So you're feeling perhaps you're wanting to be moving away from all this. But if you're stuck in the sense of loss over something, grieving still for something, that you've had to let go or that has left you, um, you're going to struggle to make this transition because when we're stuck in a sense of loss and sorrow, that's what we put out and it just comes straight back to us. What you put out is what you get back in. There's still a degree of unclarity of not being able to see the situation properly. The Seven of Swords is about deceit. And in this case, I think particularly, it may be self-deception. Having, you know, formed an attachment somewhere with someone or in 
in a situation. It could, for some of you, be work situations, but although this is a very air orientated section, the sense I get is it's the attachment may well be a relationship thing for some of you. Um, so having formed an attachment which has tied you up, there's a, a need to break free of it, but um, there's an in, you know it's it's you're at a point where you undecided how to go or whether to go. Looking at these together, I get a sense that perhaps you've become aware of a deception. There's, this is the moment of epiphany where you realize things have not been as they seem. Perhaps that's what's causing the heartache. But it's not healthy for you to simply dwell on it. You need to make a decision. You need to move decisively um, using your intellect. To move you along rather than going with your um, heart in this matter. And you've got this four of coins shows um, perhaps part of this the restriction for you is, is worrying about um, holding on to your material stability. Um, you may feel the only stability with you around you at the moment is on a material level. Certainly if um, you've been lamplighted or you feel that you've found yourself tied up in a situation that is not as it seemed initially and um, on those levels you're feeling very um, insecure, unstable. Moving away from that um, may mean for some of you the prospect of money worries, material worries. The challenge there is to keep working at, keep working on a practical level. towards a goal. There may well be a, um, a work opportunity being opened up and it's part of your decision making whether you go with that work opportunity because it may involve leaving something behind that you've become attached to. You may well be feeling, if you go for that opportunity, you um, you won't be able to because you're t you're tied to something emotional here. You're tied to something, and that's perhaps for some of you your indecision whether you stay where you are because it feels safer and it's less complicated or whether you take the plunge and go for this opportunity which does offer potential for growth and um, abundance in the long term. And there's your choice. It's choosing what you have now or working towards something greater, something more with more possibilities with, for growth. Or do you hold on to what you have, 
which may seem a lot, but have you feeling stuck? Or have you feeling tied down? The energy in this reading is really um, angst ridden and, and stressful. It's full of like a difficult decision needing to be made. So to sum up then, the cards suggest that you are in a position that is mentally unhealthy for you because something is not as it seemed. There's been an, a delusion or an illusion or just someone cover, you know, making out things someone being untruthful um, the knowledge of that I feel has caused a sense of loss there is an opportunity afforded you to move away from it but you need to decide and it's a difficult decision a difficult choice because where you are feels stable and feels secure but it it, it bodes Stagnation. That's the trouble with the Four of Pentacles. It's good to be secure and to hold on to what you have. But by doing so, you um, limit yourself. You tie yourself up to what you to to a very small world. And I feel that there the choice is. It's a big choice and it's difficult. The choice is to stay where you're comfortable, which is on some levels working or whether to go for an opportunity, break free and work towards building up a new stability, a new security for yourself and something that can go a long way. Your advice from spirit in this row says, there's going to be a change outside forces around you will bring about a change which may well just catapult you into the right direction. You'll feel a change of energies soon. And um, yeah, the wheel of fortune, it's called the wheel of fortune because sometimes it means a change of luck. Things turn your way. So uh, in your um, advice room, I'm getting a sense it's like the spirit divine energies are saying they have your back in this and you'll soon feel uh, a change of energies that you'll soon feel a change of fortune and I don't mean winning the lottery I mean things just suddenly clicking into place and enabling you to make that decision and to move on they also say that if you begin to put work and effort in, in plans and you will soon feel um, the first rewards of efforts put in and that will continue on to a sense of completion a sense of harmony and comfort and that's comfort on an emotional level rather than on in wealth I mean it's just such a contrast between this row and this row and as we move on here your outcome shows um, you mastering your your anxieties, getting a hold of them, mastering them, and having made um, an important decision. And I feel it's it's about this choice. Having made an important decision, you will feel whole again in a mental capacity. You regain your sense of balance and um, having, and you'll be wiser for it, for this whole experience. Um, also shows yeah this this cloudiness 
this deception will become clear um, in time. The, the high priestess denotes um, hidden truth being revealed. It also implies, you know, um, wisdom next to the knight of swords particularly. I mean, the king, knight of swords particularly, it denotes that wisdom um, being made available to you, setting you free almost. But I, in the reading as a whole, I get a sense of... Um, A knowledge and um, insight being made clear to you which connects with this important decision that you need to know, make and I do get a feeling from looking at the cards it's a decision about whether to move on or to whether to stay where you are finally it shows you working if you know it's a very good um, these two cards are in alignment with each other and it shows that um, taking up this opportunity to um, begin to develop something new and move forward with it even if the progress is slow it will be steady and it will lead to work continued work developing focus and um, building something up perhaps in um, collaboration with others or under the guidance of others and ultimately as you have at the bottom of the deck your three of cups finally a sense of um, meeting of spirits meeting of friends communal spirit whereas here it, it just seems you very much in your own energies apart from your advice rule which promises that the universe does have your back to move you towards feeling secure once more secure in an emotional way so there you have it a decision needs to be made you cannot stay stuck in this energy because it's going to get you nowhere. If you if you stand there in indecision, that's where you will remain with the sense of loss and sorrow at, at what's caused this heartbreak for you. Um, it's about like really releasing yourself from something that's really tied you down in a surreptitious way. But if you're able to do that, you have the potential to find a new, a new level of material value in, in as much as focus and work and building something up and in a social level, finding a sense of comradeship and something to celebrate with friends. So there you have it, Aries. That is your reading for the third week of July. I hope that it resonated with you and that you enjoyed it and if you did please remember to hit the like button and um, have a good week and God bless you till we meet again.